Madume Bomtwala. Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it is your first time coming across this face, hi friend, my name is Gamo. And to all my returning subscribers, hi guys, welcome back. <laughs> I am so excited. We are on the road to 200 subscribers, so that's pretty exciting. And thank you so much guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to also share the video and to click the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. So without any further ado guys, let's get straight into the video. Um, on the channel story time where when I do a story time I'll be reviewing a wine not necessarily reviewing but I'll be like tasting a wine for the first time and I'll tell you guys how it tastes and where I got the wine from so today's wine is the Chateau Liberatus it's a classic dry wine and it's from Western Cape I love dry wine I love dry red wine so I hope it tastes good I feel like did I didn't not have another something into the toaster like so it like a corkscrew i got it for like 55 rand at checkers so little tarela guys they are mowing the lawn in the complex so i'm competing with that noise i'm going to sound like i'm shouting but i really am not shouting <laughs> So there's four characters in this story time that I'm going to give you guys today. But the main characters are myself and my one friend and this guy friend of mine. Well, it's an ex-guy friend now. So yeah. Mm, this is it this this is it this is it this is what i like about dry wine it's got that fruity taste that raspy taste yo you know you for that that thing this wine is so smooth it tastes really really good it's got that fruity blend in it i would definitely pair it with like a creamy mushroom and chicken pasta i think it would go well with that i like um wine as like an appetizer but i feel like white wine is more like an appetizer anyway back to the story so um part of the things i used to do I, now they call them bottle girls i don't know have they always been bottle girls but i used to work at a club like i used to work at a club i think it's back in 2015. i used to work at a club and um i was a I was a hostess like you know those girls that stand at the door and then when a customer comes we usher them in then we show them their chairs and their table right and then we get the, the waiters to attend to them you understand so I used to be that girl like I used to be the girl that stands at the door and then the client comes or the customer comes then we usher the customer in then we get a waiter to go assist them then during the night you know we keep on going to check if they're okay or not or whatever the case is so i used to be those girls it was a restaurant in Santon. so by day this place was a restaurant then in the evening i could pack away the chairs then it becomes like a club vibe yeah well while i was working there i met this guy so for the sake of the story time since they're cutting grasses lie complex scene and trees i'm gonna call him muslash ne? because i'm not gonna drop any names but my friend that i'm gonna also be talking about in the story i'll, I'll refer to her with her real name Mikamala Kozugi, so she doesn't mind <laughs> so yeah so uh Mala, guys so we'll call this guy Uslash for the sake of the story time because i don't want to mention his name right so while i was working there i met Uslash. Okay, so Uslasha was like those guys that used to come with like girls and then pop for girls, like you know, pop champagne for girls and stuff like that. Chabo. I met Uslasha while I was working there. Him and I were like good friends, like we were good friends. He was, you know, when people come 
to like a place like that you know they take the girls that work there not like by a 10 years or something you know but there was something different about him because he was not like that towards me he he seemed like he's a genuine guy that really wanted to get to know me you know on a platonic basis like you know so we, we became friends yeah well we became friends in Slasa. we were chatting on whatsapp we were chatting on instagram we were good friends yeah well uh and then i don't know what happened for a like for like a good year and a couple of months i think it was one year six months he disappeared and he cut all communication with me we no longer used to text we no longer used to call and I was like, I, okay, I tried to reach out like a couple of times. His Instagram um, account was no longer there. His WhatsApp, the profile picture was there, but like when I send a text, it would just have like one tick. Yeah, well. So I was like, but where is this guy? You know, like I couldn't, I'm totally anyway. And he had another friend that I knew as well. When I text that friend, I nigga one tick. So I was like, I wonder when I'm learning these guys. Yeah, well. So. Zugi is my good, good, good friend. So Uzugi and I, on this day, we had like a, a date, like a friend date. So what we used to do is Zugi would either come to my hood, then we'd go out partying, or I'd go to Zugi's hood, then we'd go out partying. Yeah, bon? So I had started working at the call center and I was on leave. Yeah, bon? It was a Friday morning. I get a call around like 6 a.m. Yeah, bon? And he calls me, he's like, hi, he's from Nigeria. So obviously he's got an accent. He's like, hi. I'm like, hello. He's like, can you hear who you're speaking to? Immediately I could hear it because his voice is very different. Like he's got a distinctive voice, got a husky deep voice. Yeah, bo? So he's like, hi, can you hear who you're speaking to? I'm like, yeah. He's like, Unjani. I'm like, I'm well, how are you? Hi, I think I So I'm like, bro, where have you been? Yeah, bo? Because I hadn't spoken to him for like a year and six months. Yeah, bo? I'm like, where have you been? Like, why have you not disappeared? Are you okay? Isn't this right? He's like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I bought a house in Pretoria, you know, and so forth and so on. Um, I'm back in SA. I'm like, oh, so where did you go? He's like, you know what, Nate? phone is not gonna get us anyway. What are you doing today? Yeah, well. I'm like, no, I've got a date with a friend. And um, yeah, that's my plans for today. He's like, okay, Nia I'm like, no, um, I got decided to I say, okay, how about Nizen La when I'm gonna I can accommodate y'all knees in line for your dates then you know, now we can catch up and stuff i'm like no problem yeah, well, I sharp. so i i contact to zugi immediately to say to zugi zugi sorry a friend of mine Sasha, just got back in town or whatever and he's cutting a gambone yeah, well, so do you mind he's like no no problem we can go yeah, well, okay, cool, cool go pick zugi up then we go to Pretoria. When we get to Pretoria, okay, Sangena, it's like a, an apartment. Shop Sangena. He fetches us at the gate. Yeah, well. As we're walking to the apartment, he doesn't tell me that he's got a friend over or whatever. Yeah, well. So we get into his apartment. Um, Sangena, there's a guy friend of his that's also sitting there. So his setup is just like my home. So my home, it's like a couch, and then there's a dining table with dining chairs. So the way we sat was that I sat here so that I can be in the middle of him and Uzugi. So if he's talking to me, we don't necessarily exclude Uzugi. We can also talk to Uzugi. Yeah, well, Uzugi is sitting here. And then the friend is sitting there by the dining chairs. Yeah, well, and he's on his phone. Must figure he was a bit cold. Like we greeted him and he responded like, hi. And, you know, he just continued on his phone and not giving us attention. Yeah, well, hi. I'm like, okay, this is weird. So now... I'm getting the vibe like it feels like I'm a two by two, yeah, well, So I wanted to get that out of the way immediately. Um, you didn't tell me you had someone over. He's like, yeah, you know what? I decided to go see. We'll just have a bride. So I've also invited other friends. I'm like, okay, cool. So I was saying, but I'm like, all right, cool. So we sit down. We start chatting. Young Kotoya again. We see where has he been? He shows me pictures of his weddings. Like I got married, and I even have a son. My son is one year old. I'm like, hey, bruh. As it, so many things have happened in this short period of time. Oh, I'm being We are cool. So cool, man. Like the way we used to talk. As a banga. whatever. So I now see that the friend has turned his chair and is now chatting to Uzugi. They're talking with Uzugi. They're talking. They're talking. Okay, sharp. And then he's like, let me go start the fire outside. Which is slash. 
He's like, I'm gonna go start the fire outside so that we can get the fire on the way. I'm like, okay, cool. Then he goes and then they go start a fire. He goes with his friend. They go start the fire outside. I, okay, so now I ask Uzugi, goes to friend, um, what was that guy saying? Yabo? I just want to know when I like because it, it seemed a bit shady to me, you know, like it, like it seemed a bit shady. Something was just off. Yabo? I ask Uzugi, goes to friend, what's going on? What were you and that guy talking about? Uzugi's like, he asked me, Uguti, um, what are our plans for tonight? Like, are we sleeping over or are we leaving? I'm like, okay, and what did you say? I told you, you know, I told him, Uguti, you did not tell me anything about us sleeping over. And according to my knowledge, Mrs. Obloma, like, we just came to chill, have a, a few drinks, then go back home. Then the guy asked me, Uguti, so what if I say you must sleep over? Then I'm like, what did you say, friend? You know, I'm telling you, you know, I mean, I'm not sleeping over. If you are saying we're sleeping over, then we will sleep over because I'm saying now and I don't have transport to go back home. But if you're saying we're leaving, then I'm leaving. So you're telling me, if your friend says you're leaving, you're also going to leave. Uzuki's like, yeah, like, why would I stay? This guy's like, okay. Then the guy turned his chair around, like, rudely, like, abruptly. He turned his chair and faced the front again. He stopped talking to Uzuki. That's when they actually went out afterwards to go and start the fire outside. Then Uzuki and Buzo, what did you say? I'm like, no, Slatha didn't say anything of that nature. Like, me and Slatha have just been catching up really on where he's been and stuff. He has not said anything, you know, to that um, effect. That's okay. And it doesn't, eh? I don't want us to panic. Let's chill. It'll play itself out. Because if there's something that they've planned, Uslatla will have to come clean at some point. For now, he's still acting like we're just catching up. He's okay. We, it, it seems like, you know, it's like the good old times. So let's just wait for it to play itself out. Let's not panic. Sharp. So they come back from outside. This guy sits. The way he was sitting, faces the front with his phone. His back is to us, towards us. Then Slatha sitting here. I'm like, to Slatha, what's up with your friend? Why are you does snacks? I'm like, please. Like, why are snacks? I said, Slatha, I mean, I'm going to ask snacks. I'm going to ask him. So, it's almost 9 p.m. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to ask him. He's like, how? You guys come from far. You come from the East Rand. Why in Hang? Why in Alal? There's extra rooms here. I'm like, I, I don't think it's a good idea. It's not my plans. It's not my plans in any case. He's like, okay, cool. Like I said, there's other people that are coming. So it's in hand when you call it a dry. On the table, there was three bottles of Hennessy that hadn't been opened. There was one bottle that we opened when we arrived. Then there was three more that were closed. And there were two bottles of champagne. So in your see how many people are coming? Because in my head, I'm thinking this alcohol is more than enough. Already this one bottle, so it's shy as the other three. You know? So I'm like, how many people are coming? And I said, it's about three people that are coming. I'm like, okay, cool. I see, I see, I buy a size shop. Then they go to, to the shop. They left for maybe like 30 minutes. We're sitting there with Zugi. So now I'm telling Zugi what has he been saying. Because I'm see, obviously, we're chilling and the radio is high. The volume of radio is, he plays Zugi. Zugi wouldn't hear our conversation. You know? So now I'm feeling, you know, Zugi would say, ah, this guy asked me, go to see Allah Lain. Zugi's like, friend, I'm like, hi, boy, we're leaving. My babu, I will chill maybe for like an hour, and then, then say, ham, sharp. Babu, yeah. When they come back, Slatha's friend now comes in with this other lady. Yeah, well, she's very gorgeous. One gonna know this other lady, she's pretty. The lady greets us, she's a nice lady. She greets us, she asks if she can have a class. We're like, yeah, of course, knock yourself out, babe. We as we there, she drink, yeah, okay. She takes her drink and she goes and she sits there by the sky. Yeah, well, she sits on this guy's lap and they start kissing and making funny sounds. One thing I absolutely hate is the sound of kissing. Ooh! Oh, I hate it. It's so disgusting. I don't know why. Like, I hate the sound of other people kissing. It's disgusting. So they sit there and they start kissing and it's just, it's just starts being uncomfortable. Yeah, well? Um, Uslasha comes back and he's now cold towards me. Like, say I banda, like we are banda, like cold. Yeah, well? Then he sits down, he's on his phone now. Me and Zugi are just sitting and talking. Good rice and it's a vibe. Yeah, well? He stands up, he goes outside. I'm like, Suzuki, I, there's something, eh, 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 like something is off. I need to address this before, you know, 
we can continue chilling. <laughs> I follow Uslat, I go outside. And I'm buzzing, it's we, um, right. At young, right. Let me ask you, how far does your friend stay? Not too sorry. <laughs> well, now hold on a damn minute. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> What a damn minute. Sorry. I see how far does your friend stay? Me too. Why are you asking me that question? I see. Um, I've got something I need to tell you, but I just need to find out how far does your friend stay. My friend stays very far. That's okay. Hey, okay, sharp. Me to get like off, so off. You need I see. Okay. I don't know what to, how you're gonna take this gum, but uh, I've got something I need to tell you. Yabo, hey, sing out to the man, sing What's wrong? Yabo, I said, no, nothing is wrong, but um, I need to tell you something, and I don't know how you're gonna take it, but in any case, because I'm gonna have to tell you. It's okay. At um, Sasa, Kali Ramadan, he's Muslim, right? At Sasa, Kali Ramadan, tomorrow Ramadan starts. And during Ramadan, there are certain things I can't partake in. Ebo. That's why I actually invited you over. I'm like, okay. At the end, my wife is um, in Zimbabwe. So his wife is half South African, half Zimbabwe. It's like my wife is in Zimbabwe. And she's only coming back on Monday. It was Friday, remember? At the, she's only coming back on Monday. And Ramadan starts tomorrow. Ebo. I'm like, uh, okay. Uh, so what is what's up now? What is it that you have to tell me like about this whole thing? He's like, yeah, like I said, I just I don't know how you're gonna take it, but I hope you understand. I'm like, okay, get to the point. I see, yeah. So like I said, there's things that I can't partake in during Ramadan. That is why I invited you over. I'm like, yeah. Then what? I see. Um, because your friend is here, it's gonna make it a bit awkward. So hence I'm asking you where does she stay so we can get her an Uber, then she can go. You see, there's no way she's going and I'm staying. If she goes, I go. Because I don't understand where you're getting with this. I see, okay. During Ramadan, I can't have sex. So I invited you here because I thought like Ibambe Hold on, right there. Ati, uh, no, can I finish? Can I just make my point? Niti, no, you don't have to finish because I can hear where you're going with this. You called me here because you thought to Mina, I'll have sex with you because Ramadan is starting tomorrow. What makes, well, like, what, you ought to sit here with attack. Like, what gives you the nerve? I see, I also, I also thought your friend would be a good sport. That's why I brought my friend over. Um, because I thought your friend would be a good sport. So now that your friend has told my friend that no, um, which means now she must go, then you can stay, then you and I can have a good time. I'm like, that's not gonna happen. Like, what What are you doing? What is all this? I, I, I don't know, I thought it's a good idea. I still think it's a good idea. I'll give you some time to think about it. This guy is calm. He's literally so, oh, less than that's cool, man. He's calm. I'm shaking inside, but I don't wanna show because I feel like if I show that I'm like saying to heal, he might do anything, you understand? Then he comes back and he sits down. I'm, stand, I'm still standing outside. I'm trying to think of what can I do quickly to get out of the situation. I look down to see, can we jump? Because I, I saw him, like it's an open plan like my home. So you can literally see when someone walks towards the door from outside by the balcony. I look out, I look like down to see what can we jump. We are on the eighth floor. I'm thinking, must not jump a So if your pants is feel. I'm like, Phew. okay, sharp. I get inside. I sit down. Where I was sitting. He asks Uzugi, Pamguam, as Uzugi, where do you stay? Your friend doesn't want to tell me where you stay. Uzugi Angitara Zutkonzala, Uzugi asks you what to know. I stay in town. At the, um, I want to Uber you home because Ugabo has decided to stay. I'm like, ah, uh, ah, uh, I never said that. Ushi se ne volume. Sese as wana maskulum. Ushi se ne volume. He's like, Ugabo has decided to stay, so I want to Uber you home. I'm like, no, that's not happening. If she leaves, I leave too. I say, you're gonna leave from where? How are you gonna leave? Where are the door, the keys to the door? I'm like, but why are you doing this? Like, what's the meaning of this? I say, 
I, I told you, Guti, you'll take it how you want to take it, but this is what's going to happen tonight. Yo. So I'm now sitting there and I'm thinking of ways that we can escape. Can I maybe call someone and say, call me and say, there's an emergency at home. Will he buy that story? Will he care? He won't care because he brought me here thinking, Guti, I would be okay with having sex with him. Like, is he crazy? You know? I'm thinking of... Must I make peace with the fact that am I going to get raped today? Because this is already kidnapping. He has taken the keys of the door and he's saying that Sopuma will be. I'm trying to think of, you know, what, what's going to happen? Like, what is it that's going to happen from this point on? I keep it cool. Yes, he's chilling. This guy, he's so relaxed. He's just chilling. He stands up. He goes to the bedroom or the other room. So saying, Sala saying, he goes, hey. Sorry, so I'm staying now behind. I'm telling Zui what this guy has said. Uti. He said that um, the reason why he called me here was because um, Ramadan and he can't have sex during Ramadan, so he thought that me and him are gonna have sex in 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 in. And he started speaking like weird things. He started telling me things like he's always liked me, he's always wanted something with me, but obviously because he could see that I'm friend zoning him, he had to settle for friend zone at least i was still part of his life and i'm like he's lying he's just trying to get in my panties i don't understand how men think we're so gullible and naive like <laughs> anyways now we're sitting there i suppose like i'm saying no again oh um he comes back out. He's like, why are you not drinking? Your glasses are still full. What's wrong? I'm like, like you, you're making me so uncomfortable. And I really, really want to leave now. He's like, no, you're not going to leave. It's unfortunate that you're not going to leave. You guys come from far. It's an hour out and it's late now. It was around half 10-ish. And it's late now. So his friend is there with that girl. They're still kissing and making those annoying sounds from wherever they're sitting because <sighs> i can see he's serious and the keys are still in his pocket he goes outside i'm gonna press standing okay so he comes back in he sits down um his phone rings so if i phone a his phone rings he takes out the key and he answers the call i think it was the wife that was pulling so he drops the keys then he runs to the other rooms these keys, and like there's a lot of keys. I'm like, Suzu, you know what I'm gonna do, friend? I'm gonna take these keys and I'm gonna go test them all out. As soon as you see the door opening, come out. I'm gonna run to the door, I'm gonna open the door. When you see me pull the door, because the door, if you put it in, means when you see me pull the door inward, just come. We can't obviously see a C2 because the friend will see us. And I'm thinking, obviously, they planned this. Yeah, bo? So, indeed, I take the keys, I run to the door. On my way to the door, I'm like, bus try like I take a bottle of Hennessy. I get to the door, <laughs> I open the door. And then I'm like, Zugi comes out running. So, there's a lift that takes us downstairs. I get into the lift. And we go. And it's obviously now we're having a sigh of relief to say, at least that's over. Another pandemic when we get to the gate, the security guard won't let us out. Yo! Yeah. I see, he's a Zulu man, he's a grown Zulu man. Baba, I'm full. I see, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I have to get out of the car and explain to this man what just happened. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, but you South African girls and Lalel and Nyawatan, I'm a Nigerian. Hambanye pezu nyola the exit code. Miss Baba, this guy is not going to give us an exit code. He's not going to give us an exit code. We are trying to run away. We are escaping. As you know, ufo ni level wa tingan vulel. Unge unge ilugu tere girls that are coming down there ni avul. So you guys are going to have to go upstairs and go get an exit code. Yo. 
because I can literally hear this guy. He's coming down the stairs now because there's a stair, there was stairs, then the other side there were elevators. He's running down the stairs and he's shouting, If I catch you, when I ca I'm going to show you. Hold them there, hold them there. This person that's coming here, do you think he's sane? He's not sane. He's probably on drugs. I don't even know. And it's like a pussy, first of all. I got a cigarette, he's only on weed, you know. But that day, I just felt like I don't even know who this is. Like, it was just a complete different person. I even thought maybe he's even on drugs now. I had to do it. Like, I, I felt bad and I felt guilty, but I had to guilt trip him. Look at what I'm going to do here. There's spikes there by the gate and there's a boom gate. I'm going to drive into the boom gate. I'm not going to get anywhere because the spikes are going to burst my tires. When I get stuck here on top of this gate or by this gate, I'm going to call the cops and I'm going to tell the cops that you and this man had planned to rape us. So you either open or I do that. I think Gloria Balona, something kicks in. Obviously, Onembeza, you know, like that conscious kicks in. And he's like, please don't do that. I'll lose my job if I open for you. Nitsi, you'll lose your job if you don't open in any case because I'm explaining to you what's happening. I said, but where's the proof of that? Nitsi, I don't even have proof, but let's wait for this guy to get here so that he's crazy on us and you can see that he's really trying to rape us. I said, Gloria Balona, I'm going to open for you. I'm going to open for you, but just know what? If I lose my job, my kids will go hungry and suffer because of you. Yo! Imagine this, I'm saying but also I'm thinking I, I, I have to, like I have to, I have to leave. I have to go. <laughs> you know? I've really gate. My fully gate is just down there. He runs after the car for like a good one second. We drive off zoop. On our way home, he's sending me voice notes. We am too. When I catch you, the day I catch you. You will regret the day you met me. You think you're smart? You think you're smart? I'm going to show you who I am. I'm going to show you who I am. Oh, young Tuga, he's cursing me out. And I, I keep on playing the voice notes, connecting a phone because we need the navigator. I keep on playing the voice notes out loud in the car. We're listening to, I'm not responding because I'm just like numb as to what the fuck just happened. Like, I think that thing transpired for a good 20 minutes. It felt like a lifetime. It felt like a lifetime. He's, he's, he's swearing, he's insulting me, he's insulting me, he's insulting me. When we got home with Zuyi, I was just like, friend, let's just sleep. Because this right here was a movie and a half, okay? A movie and a half. And I blocked him. I was like, I'm I don't want to respond to his uh, voice notes. I don't want to text, I don't want to do anything. I just blocked him on, on WhatsApp. I deleted his number. I blocked him on Instagram. Till today, nothing no communication the following year actually after that incident on my birthday the first of july ooh, 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 i think he created another account or whatever and then he went a story and then he tagged me wishing me a happy birthday i don't know i felt like i'm in a horror movie you know like when you thought someone died and then they resurfaced i was like i will report this guy to the cops now what is this <laughs> i blocked him again on that account and i just like cut ties completely 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 my my feelings were hurt because i thought you would see you know i thought even though bigger like he, he he disappeared but when he came back he lured me in under the pretense that we're still friends like that and he's got ulterior motives you know that was a traumatic experience for me and I wouldn't wish it even on my worst enemy. I wouldn't wish it on anyone at all. It was so, so traumatic. And I just thank God I was able to think quicker as to how we're going to escape. Because if I had not thought of that, I think I don't know what could have happened in actual fact. I'm from Nogosh, but I think in, I don't even know what could have happened. You know, and that's my story time for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please drop a comment down below and tell me if you'd like me to do more story time. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I will see you on my next video.